Good evening, Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the committee. My name is David Buckle. I'm senior counsel at Lambda Legal and the lead plaintiff attorney in the New Jersey Supreme Court case, Lewis v. Harris, which led to the civil union law under review by this commission. Uh, since the law passed, I've worked personally with over 100 individuals who have called Lambda Legal seeking help addressing disregard for their civil unions. Their struggles touch every dimension of human life including interactions with neighbors, co-workers, employers, businesses, police, doctors, emergency room staff, and others. In the business sector alone, specific instances include refusals to respect a civil union for banking transactions, rentals, and auto insurance. Often we confront the civil union law's failure in employers' denial of family health insurance. One such employer was United Parcel Service, or UPS, I'm joined tonight by the clients we represented successfully in our legal action against UPS, and you will soon hear from those clients about what it meant to their families to be denied the health insurance that is provided automatically to spouses who can use those powerful words, we're married. In its final public statement announcing that we had won, UPS demonstrated the civil union law's core failure. They agreed with our argument that the law specifically required civil union partners be treated as spouses. But they said their initial legal review of the law had indicated that civil union partners could not be treated as spouses. Clearly in their minds, the law's creation of a separate status for the gay minority overrode the law's more specific terms. And in the real world, that is obviously what happens when government creates a separate legal structure for a minority. However much the government might otherwise say that discrimination is not allowed. In 2003, the United States Supreme Court confronted just such a law that separated the gay minority for different treatment, calling it, quote, an invitation to subject them to discrimination. Even closer to this commission's review, the Supreme Court of Massachusetts declared a civil union bill unconstitutional because the label of civil union, in the court's words, is a considered choice of language that assigns same-sex couples to second-class status. It labels the lifetime relationships of committed same-sex couples as unworthy of marriage, robbing those couples of respect for their relationships. And lastly, as former New Jersey Supreme Court Justice Poritz wrote, ultimately, the message is that what same-sex couples have is not as important or significant. In summary, when the government itself discriminates, it sets an example for others to follow and causes more discrimination everywhere else. The harm has only just begun, and it will never stop as long as same-sex couples are assigned a separate status. The New Jersey legislature should end the escalating harm it created with a civil union law by ending discrimination in marriage. Thank you for this opportunity.